How important was Gimli to the realm of Middle-earth? He's one of the nine members of the Fellowship of the Ring, representing the race of dwarves. Known for his bravery, loyalty, and gruff demeanor, Gimli plays an important role in the journey to destroy the One Ring. Let's explore his background, character development, and influence in Tolkien's Legendarium. Gimli is the son of Glowin, one of the dwarves from the company in The Hobbit, who accompanied Bilbo Baggins on his journey to reclaim Erebor. Gimli is described as a typical dwarf with a stocky muscular build, a thick beard, and an affinity for axes. Dwarves in Tolkien's world are renowned for their craftsmanship, resilience, and often stubborn demeanor. Gimli embodies these qualities with his deep loyalty to friends, enduring bravery, and sometimes blunt attitude. Gimli's attire reflects his heritage. He's usually armored with an intricately crafted axe that he wields skillfully in battle. Dwarves are also traditionally distrustful of elves due to long-standing enmity, but through the story, Gimli overcomes this prejudice, particularly with Legolas, the elf, who becomes his closest friend. This character evolution is one of Gimli's most significant arcs, symbolizing unity and friendship, overcoming deep-rooted differences. Gimli comes from the kingdom of Erebor, also known as the Lonely Mountain, and is a proud member of the Longbeard clan of dwarves. His father, Glowin, was part of Thorin Oakenshield's quest to reclaim Erebor from Smaug, the dragon who had taken over their homeland. Glowin's experiences from The Hobbit had a profound impact on Gimli, who grew up listening to his father's tales of that journey. In Dwarven culture, a rich tradition of oral history and songs keeps their past alive, making Gimli's heritage an essential part of his identity. Born in the Blue Mountains during a time when Durin's folk were in exile, Gimli came into the world about a century after Smaug, the Golden destroyed Dale and sacked Erebor. His father, Glowin, a descendant of King Nine II, and Durin the Deathless, joined Thorin and company in the quest to reclaim the kingdom under the mountain. At the time, Gimli was considered too young to go along, being only 62. These stories of adventure and reclaiming Erebor became part of Gimli's legacy, passed down through Glowin's tales, and would one day inspire him on his own journey. At the time of the Council of Elrond, Gimli joins his father in Rivendell, where representatives of different races gather to discuss the growing threat of Sauron and the One Ring. Gimli's initial disdain for elves is evident, stemming from historical grievances particularly involving disputes over the elvish and dwarvish realms. However, after joining the Fellowship, he gradually sets aside his distrust, paving the way for his famous friendship with Legolas. As a member of the Fellowship, Gimli provides strength, endurance, and combat prowess. He is an essential asset in battles, such as the Mines of Moria, Helm's Deep, and the Battle of the Pelennor Fields. Gimli's pride in his heritage is evident in Moria, where he is deeply affected by the loss of his kin in Balin's failed attempt to reclaim the Dwarven kingdom there. His loyalty to Frodo and the Fellowship is unwavering, and he develops a sense of duty, not only to his own people, but to the fate of Middle-earth. Gimli's relationship with Legolas is a notable aspect of his character development. Initially wary and distrustful of the elf, he grows to respect and admire Legolas, even embarking on a friendly rivalry with him during battles, counting their kills with good-natured competitiveness. By the end of the story, Gimli and Legolas's friendship symbolizes a significant alliance between their races, marking the beginning of a new era. Gimli's character, with his humor, strength, and loyalty, is one of Tolkien's most beloved representations of the dwarven race. He's often cited as a character that symbolizes reconciliation, as his friendship with Legolas challenges long-standing animosity between dwarves and elves. In many ways, Gimli's open-mindedness and his acceptance of others become a model for bridging divides, a recurring theme in Tolkien's work. After the War of the Ring, Gimli remains an important figure in Middle-earth. He leads a group of dwarves to establish a colony in the glittering caves of Helm's Deep, where they contribute their expertise in stonework and craftsmanship. This colony 
strengthens ties between dwarves and men and solidifies the place of dwarves in the New World Order after Sauron's defeat. Later in his life, Gimli sails to the Undying Lands with Legolas, a unique honor that signifies his close friendship with the elves and respect among other races. Gimli's portrayal in The Lord of the Rings, books and films has cemented his place as an iconic fantasy character. His humor and friendship with Legolas resonate deeply with fans and have inspired countless works in fantasy literature. Gimli's character embodies loyalty, bravery, and camaraderie, qualities that make him a memorable part of Tolkien's world and an enduring influence in the fantasy genre.